Here's a sequence of numbers that grows really fast. Start with n, do 2 raised to the n, and then 2 raised to the 2 to the n minus 2 power. When n is 1, it's 1. When n is 2, it's 4. At 3, it's 64. At 4, it's over 16,000. At 5, it's over a billion. Why do I find this column of numbers interesting? Because it's the number of possible candidates for topologies on n points. What does that mean? A topology is a way of describing a space. So if you have a space x, which could be any old set of points, you can make a topology on it. The topology is a set of subsets that satisfy three rules. If you had a set of three points, a, b, c, then a, one example of a topology is it has to include the empty set, it has to include the entire set a, b, c. And for this one, let's say it has a and b. Therefore, by the rules, it has to have a union b, so a and b. That is actually enough that satisfies all the rules for a topology. One extreme example would be, oh, let's just put everything in there, all the subsets. That's called the discrete topology. Another option is, well, what if we put nothing in there except what we have to, x and phi? That's called the indiscrete topology. Those are kind of the boring extremes. But there's a lot of interesting stuff that happens in between, and that's the subject of topology. So these numbers are how many ways you can choose some subsets of a set when you have to include the empty set and the entire set. That's what the minus 2 is about. We actually don't know how many of these really are topologies for general n. Of course, it's been solved that Wikipedia has a list of them for the first however many, but it's an ongoing mystery what the general rule is.